Here we are at stage two of track day and we've already got a little bit of variety, which is nice to see. We're at Dubai. And so in the first stage, just got to do a lap in one minute, 15 seconds. Should be no trouble at all. I haven't done any tests, so we'll just see. I've driven this track a lot with no assists, but uh, not quite sure with this car because it's got some deeper braking points, I think. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So trying to cut under this guy and well, I guess we had an argument about race lines. So I'm just going to see if I can finish this and get in a, a little angry tap there. Like, you know, the whole thing was my fault, but oh well. That's what racers do, right? You take it out on someone else and say, it was your fault. And um, this circuit, oh, okay. So I didn't really pay attention to which Dubai circuit we were on. I'm just watching the HUD, the little map there. You can, you can cut this track a lot if you want to. I'll do a little bit of both. This time I'll just stay on track because I don't know what's coming up for uh, challenges. And so I just need to make sure that I've got a decent understanding of the breaking points if there is a, a no off track stage. And you just never know. Sometimes there's no off track stages. Sometimes there is, you must be off track stages like we saw in stage one at uh, Mount Panorama. And that's just the way it is sometimes. So, you know, I had a huge crash and I, another bash and still pretty easy stage. Nothing to worry about there. You can see my upgrade paths. Uh, I've talked about that in stage one and I also made a video about that a while ago. I'll put it at the end there as far as what upgrades you're gonna need for the final day. And I really doubt that was a world record, but I'm not gonna look into it. Some of you guys probably know the answer to that and that's fine. I don't care enough to uh, look into that. I'll just get onto the next race. Oftentimes I drive down the middle here and uh, nope, they closed up that gap and opened up this one. Okay, no problem. Oh, that's interesting. They've got the Lamborghinis in the back and then they've got some of the, the slower cars in the front. I nudged that guy and he went sideways pretty quick. That's kind of funny. Uh, since I have to lap the whole field, if you create a bit of a mess, that can be even easier. Well, let's see here. Do I want to cut this one up? If you're not familiar with the traditional Dubai cuts, well, I will show them to you soon. I'm not sure if I'll do it on this one or not. Let's see, how many laps am I supposed to go? Three laps. Well, I will just take it as it goes. It's not a very long track, really. And uh, Dubai is an interesting course. I used to not like this very much just because there were so many variants. And once in a while, I just wreck a breaking point because I was racing the wrong track in my brain. You've probably done that too, heading into certain corners where you just, you set up the wrong corner. Not a big deal. So I've already got a massive lead on that guy. Of course, those Lamborghinis will be working their way through the pack. And so, that's when it could get a little bit difficult if they get all the way through it. So I guess the sooner the better. Oh, I totally blew my braking point. That that definitely was not a time-saving cut. Uh, yeah, that just happens sometimes. Sometimes you make mistakes. And this, that wasn't a great braking point either. Boy, I'm not, obviously I'm not giving you a polish run. I'm just, this is just trial and error as I'm going. This is what I do. If this was a hard stage, I'd be redoing it. I'm not going to redo this just to have a pristine looking run. And it'll get better as we go further. I'm expecting to see a whole bunch of cars soon because I'm going to be starting my last lap. There they are. And let's just see who's at the back here. Whoops, took him out. Well, Lamborghinis definitely worked their way through the pack. You could bash your way through all this, but of course you want to make sure you pass the stage. Man, is this car ever fast compared to all those ones? A lot of those were street cars. There were some racing type cars there, but... Okay, well there you go, that was one cut, and that was one sliding pass. If you're not careful, you can definitely make this car skid like crazy. Boom! Oh! I thought if I passed him it would end the race. That's why I didn't bother slowing down at all. I just hit him. Oh well. Let's go out with a lawnmower. 
There you go, that's a lawnmower cut. I call it a lawnmower cut because I'm cutting across the lawn, so that's, that's what you do. You use a lawnmower if you're cutting the lawn. And that's going to basically wrap up this stage. I was trying to drift that corner a bit, but drifting can be interesting in grippy cars. It takes a while to get the balance of it. And that wraps that up. Let's cross backwards just because why not? I do that sometimes. Okay, and again, I'm double timing the in-between stuff, the in-between race stuff. If there's anything here you want to take a closer look at, pause the game and look at it. Or if not the game, of course, pause the video and take a longer look. And what do we have here? Overtake Magnus without overheating. Okay. And you're already starting me with a hot engine. If you haven't done a lot of these overheating stages, um, Tilt A can really hurt you here. Because Tilt A is going to be all gas or all brakes, no in between. With Tilt B, if you want to, you can coast. I could have cut across the grass and ended the stage right there. You can give that a try if you want to. I don't think you really have to be all that careful because this race is going to end as soon as I pass Magnus. So might as well just pass him right away. And if I get close to blowing up the engine in the process, no big deal. So, let's see here. I'm in the yellow. I've got a ways to go before I get in the red. Now it's Magnus, and you know, I'm not just going to pass him. There we go. I'll teach him a little lesson as I pass him. And what's that lesson? I guess he didn't do anything to me this time. Hey, it's been a long-running feud. It's been going on for years. Where Magnus is the nemesis, and he's goading me and all that other stuff. So, I like to do the pit maneuver on Magnus. And now we're supposed to have a massive lead. No trouble. Another three laps on this race. Okay. Oh, there's Magnus. Well, man, you're driving slow, Magnus. Come on. Got to let him catch up for a little bit. I was going to slam on the brakes and just back into him and take out his windshield, but that works too. Okay, well, maybe it's time to cut things up a little bit. There you go, so you can you can cut this track to pieces if you really want to. Uh, there's a little cut you can take here. It's not all that beneficial, especially if you get it wrong. Well, that wasn't bad. Then you can stay full throttle here. And you take the lawnmower cut. You don't have to do any of this. I mean, if you want to stay all on track, go ahead. Uh, no problem at all. I'm going to get the same pay. Interesting thing about the new M dollars is there is no clean race bonus. There's no incentive to keep it on track as far as earnings are concerned. So, the faster you finish your race, the more per minute earnings you make. So, might as well just do what you want. Again, it's nice to practice to stay on track, and then you learn the braking points. Once you learn braking points in one car, you just adapt them for other cars. Once in a while, there's a braking point you could skip. And, yeah. I might as well just keep doing this. Oop, that wasn't as good. The other interesting thing is these cars handle very differently off track than they do on track. And I like that. I actually find it quite realistic. In real life, I've done a lot of driving in a lot of different conditions. So I've driven in dirt and sand and gravel and grass and asphalt and concrete and ice and mud and snow and basically everything that you can drive in. Very little sand driving, and certainly not as much as some people who could live in Dubai or Egypt or places where there's desert driving, so I've never done that type of driving. But I've driven in a lot of conditions, and I'm saying that to say that the car is handled kind of realistically off track, where the terrain can sometimes grab your car and pull it in a certain direction, and just the handling's different, so I really appreciate that they've put that in the game. And I think it's a good skill to, to learn, is how do you handle this car off track and still have speed? Because we definitely have stages that come up once in a while where you have to go off track, but you still have to finish in a good amount of time. So I always, I'm a guy that says, ah, you should have all your skills. I actually, I was laughing quite a lot when they made us do 10 seconds off track because you get so many people, I get so many people that get mad at me for off-track driving on in endurance races and 
that it's cheating and that's not real racing. And then we get one of these stages where they say, you have to go off track. That's funny to me. And there we go. I almost lapped him. Oh, that would have been great. Oh well, doesn't really matter. So that's the end of that stage. And I believe there's just one more to go. And then we will wrap up stage two of racing. They don't call them days, they call them stages. That makes sense because you can do this whole thing in a day if you want to. And there we go. Oh, that was the last race. Well then. Okay, so that's it for stage two. Stage three is coming soon.